Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined now by Adam of Mass Skyred! Yeah, yeah. hey, hey, How are you, brother? Appreciate you being here. Uh, for for those that may not know who you are, sir, can you can you do me a favor and properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are and plug and promote yeah. anything and everything. Yeah, so we are Mask Guy Raid. Um, we are from the Australia, from Queensland, um, Gold Coast, Brisbane. Um, yeah, we've been around for about 10 years, um, sort of progressive rock, modern rock band. Um, just released a new single, Tidal Wave, um, just come out last week, which we're super excited about. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's super pumped to be here. You guys have been banned for, for quite a while too, but if, I feel like lately things have been like really ramping up and picking up steam for you guys. But am I correct that you've been banned for yeah. about 11 yeah. or 12 years? Yeah, there's been a few lineup changes. Like, look, we just love writing. Um, so like it's sort of, we're just keeping on pushing out some, you know, we, we did we did the um, Courage on the Fire, then we did Science, which was our first EP. Um, and then we just moved on to Science of Fiction and then last year dropped Calm and Chaos. So we just love writing. Like we've got a lot of creative energy in the band and um, all of us love writing. So I think that's what drives us is that, you know, we just love that side of it and continue to push push songs out, when, you know, when we can. Hell yeah. And then I know Lizzie has a ton of questions for you. You're one hey, of, Lizzie, you, you guys are one of her uh, favorite Hi. bands. Yeah. I have one, hey, one final quick question for you. On your Spotify, yeah. it says you guys are part of the Yangamba people. What is that? Um, so that's sort of the Aboriginal people in Australia, um, just sort of paying respects to that, um, the land um, in Australia. Um, so just making sure we pay the respects for um, the original sort of Aboriginal people of Australia. Um, it's really important. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's um, really important um, aspect. You know, we're, we're fortunate enough to be on these lands. Um, so it's, it's our duty to make sure that we pay that respect to them. That is cool. I, I I like that. I like that. I I saw. I read that and I was like, "What does that mean? I've never heard that term before." But that, that's cool that you're paying the respects. Hell yeah. Yeah. Lizzie, go ahead and uh, fire off a couple. Yeah, give right. it to us. So first of all, I wanted to bring up. Um, you guys have had a couple of other interviews recently to promote Tidal Wave. You sure, had yeah. um one with Heavy Magazine and one with what was it called? Ever Black. Yeah, Ever Black. Yeah. Ever Black. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> If I'm ever black, yeah. Yeah, how did those go? Um, you know, did, yeah. what kind of questions did did they have? Um, yeah. Compared yeah, they, to, this is going to be a totally different interview for you, by the of way. Course, so, yeah, that's great. You know, like, yes, like, what is. kind of questions did they have? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they just sort of, you know, um, I think Nev, like that was a pretty in depth interview with um, Ever Black. Um, he's been a mate. He's he's doing he's kicking his own goals in um, Snake Mountain. Go check it out. Very heavy band, but um, he's been interviewing a lot of um, um, big bands lately. But um, that was pretty in depth, you know, just talking about life and obviously the single Tidal Wave and but just just general aspects of where, you know, how I started music and um, you know where how I started singing and which is really interesting just to talk about that, um, you know, and my my journey as a musician I think as well. So that was really cool and. Heavy Mag's always cool. You get interviewed, um, Chris from Heavy Mag. Um, that was another one, just just talking about our journey once again as a band and um, my sort of individual journey as well. So um, they're all different. They're all cool. You just got to flow with them. And, um, and yeah, it's, um, it's, it's fun to do. I'm, I'm glad to be here today to do this one. Well, let's make this one a little bit weird and wild and crazy starting now. Adam, did yes, you sir. bring yep. any hot sauce? I didn't think that was literal. No, I've got a coffee and a tea because I've got a bit of a cold. We're one hundred percent serious, and I've been told that hot sauce can help colds go away. <laughs> no, you're totally not required to do this, but if you want, we have a trivia segment of the show where uh, you get to pick the trivia, and if we yeah. if we stump you, then you take a swig of hot sauce. If not, I have to do the hot sauce. I'll do it regardless. But um, sorry, just think about it for a minute. But uh, I do want to ask a couple more questions before we even get there. Uh, yeah, did, sure. Who produced Calm and Chaos? Who was the producer you guys went to? Yeah. Uh, Luke Palmer. So Luke Palmer is the guitarist of um, Dead Letter Circus, um, who's another massive band in Australia. You probably know them. Mm -hmm. um, but he's just, yeah, he's an amazing producer. He's just a, he's gold to work with. Um, 
just it allows you to get really creative, but then also really honest. Um, but you know, you can see his skills there as a, from a producer perspective, um, like the mix. So he pretty much did um, the mix, the producing, and the mastering of that um, album. Two part question: uh, Can you can you go about like your writing process, particularly that yeah. album? Like where, when when a song, I know you said he kind of does the mixing and mastering, but did he kind of take a song and pull it apart and rearrange it to to where it gets to our ears? And second part of the question, what yeah. was it like being recognized as basically having the most badass album in Australia? Because I saw you guys post something a while back how like fans voted this was like the best album of the year. Well, that was Triffid album of the year. So that's sort of um that was a massive achievement for us. So, that's you so know, cool. that just to, to win that's a massive venue up in um near um, Brisbane and um some huge acts go through that venue. So just to be recognized with that um for our album it's just be recognized in general for it is just amazing because it's such a personal experience um when you're writing these songs um from a writing perspective i think that was the other question um we we write in all different ways so like um that's i think we try and keep it fresh because if you get a bit stagnant if you just try the same formula um tidal wave sort of came um more from my lyrics and melody i was just sitting on a roof up in the sunny coast um um, at a hotel after a gig, having a wine and um, looking at the ocean, actually, and just um, just came up with that within like 10 minutes or something, just the basis for the lyric and melody for that. While you're Some on the roof. Song. Yeah, just just chilling, looking at the ocean and just sort of got inspired. And um, so that was pretty cool. But some some song, some songs take obviously longer than that. Um, but yeah, from a creative perspective, we try and mix it up. We um we it might be um, Alex, our guitarist, coming up with a foundation, and then I might put melodies and lyrics over it. I might have melodies first. It might even be from a rhythmic section. Um, with um, the other guys that have joined the band in the last few years, um, Nick and Josh are really creative. Um, so everyone's got that sort of creative energy. I, I suppose it's just, you know, just making sure we sort of mold that right um, on our journey now. Um, so we're ex I'm, I'm excited to see what happens because um, they all come from different influences. So that's really cool. Red wine or white wine? Red wine, all the way. Heard. All the way, all the way, yeah. Lizzie, I'm going to give you a chance to, to ask a bunch more, but uh, Adam, I, you don't have to grab the hot sauce, but I still want to do the trivia. It's one of the fun things we do I over here. Coffee. I, can, I can do coffee and I can, um, yeah, just... Um, okay, so if you don't get it right, you got to pound your whole coffee. Wait, you got to <laughs> wake up. Jesus. But okay. you get to pick the trivia. What movie or TV show... One or the other, have you seen so many times, it's impossible for me to stump you because you've seen the movie or TV show 30 times. What, what's your favorite? Oh, wow. That's difficult. Um, oh, mate. That's, this, this, you stumped me already. Where's the coffee? Bang. Um, <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I think everyone's seen Shawshank Redemption five, five million times. Okay. Um, that's, that's, that's one that's sort of everyone's seen. Um, don't ask me the, some of the names of the people, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's one that I remember. I think everyone remembers, um, geez, this, th that's, that's stumped me a bit. Yeah. Okay. I don't get to watch too much telly. So it's, um, it's sort of, um, I'm, I'm too busy writing, um, songs. So, but let's do this. Let, this let, this um, is a good thing. This. this is a good thing. Don't worry oh, about the telly. You just I, keep I, writing. I see you have some hot sauce. I want to see you have some hot sauce. Oh, I, so I, I, I got concerned. some. I got some. I just need to look up some trivia. So Lizzie, go ahead and shoot another one. And uh, I got mine too. Oh, wow. I'm ready. Um, so recently you guys actually had a giveaway and um, in relation to the Tidal Wave release show, yeah. you guys announced a winner. Um, is that something you guys have done before? And do you plan on doing that more in the future? Because I know we have some Australians in the stream right now watching that might be interested. Yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, it's all sort of part of hyping the shows up and um, just getting it out there. So, um, you know, the, the, co the competitions and that, whether it's a show or whether it's to get sort of some merch or something, it's all good. Like, we're going to definitely, like, mix it up and do all that sort of stuff. That's awesome. I love that you guys did that. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's cool. Like, um, yeah, we're very excited about these two shows. Um, first time playing Tidal Wave. Um, yeah, we played it um, the other day in the in the jam, and it's a, it's a really fun live song to play. Um, so it's sort of um, it's got a really cool live energy, and that's that's interesting because some songs are like really studio songs, and some songs are um, live songs, and some some are both. This is, I feel it's a bit of both. Um, so I'm stoked that it's in the set now. 
What song? Yeah. What song in your set is the hardest to perform from from a vocal perspective? Like the most strenuous? Uh, pretty much all of them. No, um, I think I think um, it's interesting because like you sort of like learn how to adapt in the songs as, as you play them over time. Right now, I think "Begin with the End" is a belter. Um, it's like right up there. Um, you, you're going for you're going for gold in those choruses. So, um, you know, if you're not feeling on on it, um, yeah, that's that's difficult. But then, you know, as you, as you can see by the music, it's um, you know, it's quite a challenging set um, vocally. I'm, it's all over the shop, um, sort of using all the range, um, low range, high range, and really belting. Um, so it's it's just about sort of going for it when you're live and seeing what happens. I suppose that's live music, isn't it? <laughs> that's totally that's how live music works for sure yeah. in the Shawshank Redemption yeah what are the two things the warden believes in he repeats it a bunch of times in the movie he believes oh, in two things why did I ask this one um, the warden um, remember the warden with the glasses yeah I do um, the bible was one that is one of them that's the Bible. He had that Bible. And um, oh, I'm, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. I want to see this hot sauce happen. Um, oh, geez. The Bible. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm scraping at the barrel here. Um, you got it. And, and, fa- and, the, and his family, maybe. Um, sort of just, ah, um, oh, geez. Get your coffee ready, I, my friend. I think we're going to call that one a stump. Yeah, no, 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 Discipline. Oh, yeah, Discipline and the Bible. En- enjoy Man. the coffee. I'm gonna join some hot enjoy, enjoy yeah. some hot sauce really quick. We're gonna work in your newest song, Tidal Wave. And if guys, if yeah. you're feeling it and enjoying it, please support them. Go on Spotify, hit that follow button just like I have right there. I mean, it's a slapper. I don't think I've ever heard a bad song from you guys, though. Like, just about every uh-huh. single song I've heard oh, no. is, is super. Oh, cheers, man. Cheers, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate your support over, over the years, too. It's, it's an amazing show that you've got. Absolutely. It's Lizzie so cool. Lizzie deserves all the credit, though. She feeds me a bunch of really cool bands. She's like, oh, she's it. like, you have to hear this one. This one is excellent. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a... uh, well, yep. When we look back, uh, come December of this year, what would yep. you guys like to have accomplished by by December, just as a yeah, from from the sure. band, um, I'd love to in a perfect world um, another another um, EP out. So maybe just just pushing something out, just getting really creative this year, and just you know, and just 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 getting it out there. Um, and also like um, we're looking at doing a national tour, and you know, um, also going overseas. That's another thing I'd love to do. So and play overseas. So. Let's make all these things happen. Like, you know, that's what that's what it's all about. It's just pushing towards these goals. And um, I think we've got the creative energy to do all that. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited. Hell yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Lizzie, go ahead and shoot off another one. Yeah. So I know that I think it was towards the end of last year, you had the pleasure of meeting CJ from our Australia channel. How did that go? Um, yeah, that was good. Yeah, they, um, I'm just trying to get with the band that we, you mean, we, we played a show with them actually. Um, yes. so, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was cool. Um, I'm just trying to, um, the, the band we played with, but, um, there was, yeah, he's a good guy. Like, um, it's so cool that you're doing this over in Australia as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. World it's, domination. Yeah. Just taking, taking <laughs> over the world one, one, um, country at a time. I love that. Adam, I'm going to give you one more shot at this Shawshank trivia. You oh, got to, you got to pick it. I know. You, you could have picked anything. That's what you picked. Jeez, I just don't. What yeah. artist did Haywood want played over the speakers oh, when, geez, when yeah. Andy has a chance to sneak in some music? What artist did he pick? That's, that's, where's my, where's my tea? I've got to scale this. That's, the, that's there's no way. We got I the double remember. stump. It was, it was yeah. uh, Hank Williams. <laughs> Hank Williams, hell yeah. These are difficult. <laughs> These are difficult. I have, I have to say, I haven't watched it for probably about 10 years, but um, I did watch it a lot of times, but... No worries. Uh, yeah. It is, I don't, I, to my knowledge, I don't know of any songs that you guys have another feature, like another vocalist on. You, you might, I just haven't heard it, but is there ever been talks of having like yeah. another Aussie artist on a song? And if so, who? Yeah. Um, 
Oh, gee, that's I, – I think um, we'd have to have a – I think I've got a really clean voice. I do have a sort of – I can put heat on my voice, but getting some sort of, um, you know, scream scream over it might be cool, like just that mix that up. Um, yeah, even my mate Nev um, from the Black Meter, um, if he's listening, he might you might have to come and join us. Um, yeah, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm totally up for that. I'm, I'm totally up for sort of going on other tracks as well, um, of other bands and doing some melodic. You're open to that. Oh, 100%. How, that, how, would um, you, how would you prefer someone go about contacting you if they wanted your vocals on their song? Um, just through my Facebook, I suppose, or Instagram or, um, yeah, just sort of, it has to be the right project. Um, I just have to make sure I like the song. But um, and, and from a creative aspect, it'd be cool to actually create as well over that. So, yeah, I'm up, I'm up for anything. It's, it's good to mix it up. It's good to mix it up. Oh, yeah. I love that. Lizzie, uh, shoot oh, off yeah. maybe uh, two more. Okay, that's perfect because I actually have a two-part question. Cool. Yeah. Who right now, just in Australia, are you listening to the most? And then the second part is who outside of Australia are you listening to the most right now? Hmm. Um. I think. Um. I mean, Sleep Token, like they're like they're amazing. Um. Gee, they're just blowing up huge. Um. In Australia. Um. Everywhere. Blood sport. Everywhere. Blood sport, like how good that song is just like it just took me as soon as I heard it. Um overseas, like there's so many, like bring me the I mean, architects and um all these sort of bands. Um the list goes on. It's sort of I love Bring Me the Horizon, um, where that's going. Um oh, there's so many. It's, it's hard to actually just limit um sort of just a few. But um yeah, sleep token's really um really blowing up over here and overseas. They're just you go. They they played a show in Brisbane the other day, and just the the pictures of that, like it's it's, it's quite a um, a spectacle. Um, yeah, it's just an experience. I think they're putting on from a live perspective, um, so that's it's every it's it's well deserved hype. I think with that band, very original, um, very cool. Oh, yeah. Was yeah. was that both questions, Lizzie? I know you was that both, or is that just one right there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, Adam, I only got one or two more for you, and then we'll let you yeah. get get back to it. So I know it's bright and early. You're living in the future over there. You're a day ahead of yeah. us. But uh, I see it. what two two questions? Final two questions. One serious, and one not so serious. Not so serious yeah. one. When it when it's uh, not music day, not day to hang out with the band. Maybe the family is doing something else. Do you have any just fun hobbies uh, in your spare time, or or just yeah extracurricular yeah, um... activities? <laughs> Um, I, I live near the beach, like 50 meters from the beach. So I'm in a high rise at the moment, but um, I've just recently got back in like surfing and bodyboarding and um, love the ocean. Um, so just nothing like going in the ocean. So that's something I try and do every time I can. Um, that's probably one of the main ones I've picked up recently is just going back in the ocean. Like just, it's good for singing. It's good for your lungs. It's, it's just, it's, it just can't, it calms your mind. Um, so I'm really enjoying that. The surf's pumping at the moment over here. So it's pretty huge. So um, whenever I can get there before work, I'll, I'll try and I'll try and get out. Hell yeah! I always forget uh, to do this last part, but if you could do a plug for us at the end, don't let me forget that. But my last yeah. serious <laughs> question is: uh, being that you've been in a band for twelve years, and we have a lot of starting up local bands that watch this show. When looking yeah. back on on the twelve years, is there a particular thing that you guys did that you do not recommend? A band doing if they're just getting started like maybe you spent a bunch of money on something for promotion or, or, or something and just didn't work and you just wouldn't recommend that or don't do this gig whatever you got um i think it's you've got to you've got to first of all i suppose um i mean there's so much competition um as from an artist perspective um this band's coming up left right and center particularly with um you know the way the internet with um streaming and everything um, so it's very competitive. Um, you got to have a the product's got to be sort of at a high quality. I think um, you know, um, you know, it's sort of it's got to be the, the product itself. So don't cut corners with actually the actual product itself. I think that's important to actually make sure it's justified um, from a producing perspective. Um, you know, it, every band's got a journey, but this it's it's um it's another one too massively is keeping up with trends. Um, the trends are changing it's since we started. Like it's just like the whole music industry has changed. Um, the platforms are changed, and like some are becoming more obsolete. And there's new ones popping up. So keeping with trends, 
is like really critical. Um, you know, you've got so many things that put your music out these days and just making sure that you, you, you know, that, Hello. Port is a band. Oh. I lost you on like the last two seconds, but I, I got the most, the most just, oh, it, it, it cut out yeah, just sure. for a second. But, uh, Adam, if you could one time, can we do a, uh, Hey, I'm Adam from Mass Sky Raid. You're watching local band smoke out something along the lines of that, but you can feel yeah. free to twist it up however you'd like. Hey, I'm Adam from local, first jeez. Hey, I'm Adam <laughs> from Mass Sky <laughs> I'm Adam from Mass Sky Raid. You're listening to local band smoke out. Perfect. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. We wish you nothing but success. Tidal Wave is awesome. Uh, There's so not a bad song I've ever heard from you. I'm being honest when I say that. I don't say that to everyone, yeah. but I really, really, we really enjoy your stuff, man. Uh, yeah. and guys, Thank again, so oh, it's our pleasure. Thank you, Lizzie, for showing me this band and showing all of us Thanks, Mass Sky Raid. <laughs> yeah. And if you guys are watching, please go on Spotify, hit the follow button, support them. Adam of Mass Sky Raid! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, brother. So nice. Have a great day. Thank you.